Hello guys, today I'm gonna boil Coca Cola and iced tea to see the result from my science experiment movie. So now let's check out how it's doing. So the Coca Cola is like sparkling for a reason. doesn't do anything pretty much. So now I'm going to explain why these sodas like become sugar in less than one hour boiling. So um, Coca-Cola and Lipton sell their syrups to to the bottler that puts water in it and like sell it and since it's boiling the water evaporates because temperature is really hot so what's left is the syrup with all the sugar a few moments later that's the result of the iced tea thing. That's the result of one liter of iced tea. And that's the result of this bottle of Coca Cola. Can you believe me? So now, basically, we're gonna ask people in the street if they drink Coca Cola. And uh, I'll show them a little mixture I have. So I'm in the streets of Paris with strangers, total strangers, and I want to ask them a few questions. So, do you drink Coca-Cola often? Yes, well, quite often, like two or three times a week. Okay. Yes. Oh, it is Coca-Cola? Yes. Really? 1.5 liters of Coca-Cola. Oh. Okay, so thank you. Okay, um, I think I see... Person, I ask. I might ask questions. So, okay. Sorry, pardon. Um, do you speak English? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a camera for a science experiment. Can I ask you a few questions? On your camera? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um. Do you drink Coca-Cola often? No. No? But still, I'm going to show you something. That is actual 1.5 liters of boiled Coca-Cola. Ew. Gross. Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. You're welcome. I'm a little bit disappointed about this experiment because people don't collaborate with you in Paris. I asked over 20 people to, to like, answer my questions and like two or three responded yes so so not a very good social experiment but um the boiling coca-cola thing did actually work out how i wanted to and uh don't drink coca-cola Thanks for watching guys, I hope you like this little movie, don't forget to like and share this video and to subscribe at the science channel, thank you.